Day 55, Plant Paradox update. The ice cream is so good. <laughs> um, it has just this great flavor with made with coconut cream. Um, and when I was stirring it last night in the freezer, you have to stir it every 30 minutes. It was a very good ice cream consistency. Well, this morning, um, well, this afternoon, I'm trying to have some after lunch. It's hard as a rock. So it, it freezes like solid. So I let it sit out for about a half an hour, maybe an hour actually, and um, it was either really hard or or um, completely melted, um, but I was able to scoop some out and mix it together and it, it tastes great. Um, it might even just be my freezer, so I moved it to a different place in my freezer. But anyways, I can't wait to try the rest of them. But it, I'm going to have to <laughs> stay away from it because it's so good, but it's not calorie free. It's just, you know, it, it makes the list because of what I used for it. Um, but it'll be good to have a, a nice sweet treat like that. Uh, anyways, it turned out great and I uh, wanted to let you know. Talk to you later. Hey, end of the day on Monday and um, just finished dinner. I made a roast tonight. First time we've had beef roast or beef steak, anything like that for 55 days. <laughs> it tasted really good. Um, and so with that I did roasted Brussels sprouts and radishes because we have radishes in the garden. And I picked beets yesterday so I cooked the beet greens along with some spinach. And then I had a Japanese sweet potato. So dinner was excellent. Um, I made a horsey sauce out of the avocado mayonnaise and horseradish and I couldn't even eat all my dinner. So um, the rest of the beef I'm going to turn into um, a chili for this weekend's camping trip. So partially ground beef and partially um, roast, roast, um, roast beef, <laughs> chuck roast, whatever. Um, so although it's not grass fed, it is from a local farm and um, I didn't have any other meat today. So I think I'm fine. Um, and then when I finished dinner, I thought I'd quickly make some pecan butter because that's been a very uh, delicious snack. And so I put the pecans in the um, food processor, I'm running it, and it's, you know, not turning into the pecan butter. It's just turning into crumbs. And so I said to Joel, the, the kind I bought in the package must not be as good as the ones that I was getting in bulk. I should have just got the ones I was getting, but these were cheaper. And I keep going and I keep going and it's just crumbs, like it won't turn into the butter. And then all of a sudden I realized I forgot to roast the pecans first. So now I have a pan of crumbs that I'm going to try to roast and see if I can turn them into butter. I don't know. But it's frustrating because pecans aren't cheap and I have a pound of them in there. So it's like $20 worth of pecans. So I have to make something with them if they can't turn into butter. But anyways, great dinner. Um, hopefully the pecan butter turns out and um, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. So I'll talk with you later. Thank you.